go through what my current day book looks like now that I've set it up a bit more on OneNote for 2013. So let's have a look at the page here. Um, this is the what I've called the navigation page. So remember um, we've got our, well these are tabs at the top here, anything that you'd like to call them. I have mine, uh, as I said, with the navigation first and then all the classes that I'm teaching and plus anything else that I want to add in there. And so they're the tabs and then down here, on the right hand side, you've got the pages within each, uh, each tab. So within that, my first one is timetable. Okay, so let's have a look at um, inserting a timetable in there. Um, what I do, as I mentioned before, was I make an Excel file and then I um, insert it and this is how you do it. You go to insert and within there you've got different ways of inserting different objects so there's a there's pictures like you would normally insert a picture in uh, a, an, a document or a PowerPoint, um, a screen clipping which would take you to somewhere where you would drag it out and take a clip of the screen, a link, a file attachment or a file printout. Now I use these two most often today I'm going to use the file printout. Okay so I'm going to look for my file find it. Okay, so my timetable and it's going to just basically insert um, a version of that file as a basically as a picture and you can see it, you've got this little box that links back to where you where the original file comes from and I can just move that around because it's kind of in the way. Make it a bit a bit, uh, bit smaller move it up into the corner or you could just delete that altogether and this is my file printout which I can't edit but I can have that there if I want to edit I can just click back on there and edit it that way and reinsert it um, I can make that size make it a different size I can sort of drag it in and out whatever size I want it and have that there so that's my timetable um, just some other ideas that you might like for for the um, pages within this particular tab. I've got rosters which um, I'll put in for example playground duty and those type of things so they're all there there's no need to print those out um, and then I've created important dates. Now within that you can include see these pages here are slightly indented they're sub pages so I can have that open or closed and I thought important dates I might make a list of um, St Paul's events that I'd like to be reminded of. Um, one thing here you can include when you're writing something in is there's a there's a bunch of different tags here. Okay, so I've created a to do tag and just put that in there so I can um, click it when it's done, unclick it, and then if I had a lot of these different tags, I could go here to find tags if I wanted to group them all together and I've got remember for later or to do or whatever they are and they can just bring them bring them into one place which is good for organization. Um, I've got assessment dates which I'll put in once I know them and reporting timeline which was another file printout um, of a document that was sent through so I can just look at that there no need to print it out. So that's my that's my sort of admin area my, where I can look at all those bits and pieces and I can always add more to it. And as I mentioned in the last video, I then have my year, my year, the classes that I teach. Now I've just um, changed this slightly. Um, so the first page is lesson plans term one. Um, so I've gone through and I've used the same format of inserting a table and then call it, you know, having the date, the period, the lesson plan, the resources needed, and any homework given or anything I've reflected on or notes, things I need to remember. And basically what I do is I start with a blank template of this without anything written in it. Um, then I go through and write all the dates down, which is the, the time consuming bit, I admit that. Um, and then also write, then I, um, then I copy that table and I paste it into year eight, year nine, year 10, etc. And then I, 
work out which period I've got them. Okay, so within that I've got um, my links, my PowerPoint sheets, whatever it might be, um, and just gives me an overall view of where we're headed. Like I put the dates, you know, that they're on camp. We've got the swimming carnival in that lesson, um, all the things that are happening, which is very handy. And obviously I haven't filled in the rest of them, but they're there. And then uh, over here in the the planner, I'll put in, um, I'll insert a file printout, and then I'm going to find my yearly planner for year seven. I'm just going to insert that as a printout. Those they can be anything that you want: Word documents, Excel, PowerPoints, and that is there to show me what's happening throughout the year just in a format that's for the whole year there and then I've also got places to put the programs as Word documents that I can link to okay and that's the next thing that I'll do and then in the student information I can I've got a uh, page for correspondence for emails that are sent or anything like that one place to keep them all related to year 7 I'm going to mark the role in here just slightly differently. I'll go to one that I've set up and behavior, notes and marks and reporting. But let me go to um, one that I've set up for year 11, which is a bit more done. Um, the attendance. So basically it's really simple, just names down this side and then I'll just write the date in there across the horizontal and I'll just write A if they're away and that way I can see who's away and then homework completed for these guys so just write in whatever the homework is and the date that it was completed or you've seen it or whatever it happens to be and then of course with the marks and these are intended to be um, class marks, just quizzes, things like that, that I can just quickly put in, refer to, and um, just a better way of record keeping. So the idea with this, this OneNote this year is to build on last year and, um, yeah, just make it a place where everything is located um, and I can just find everything here. It's especially useful if I just go um, to one last thing. Um, my PowerPoints and things, once they're in here, they um, I need to open them from here because if I try to open them in my um, my folders, they're not going to be the updated versions. These are the slightly different versions there. Um, yeah, so it was quite simple setting this up because I was able to go back into my teaching program 2012, which other... OneNote files are just located over the side here and you know I could look at what I did this time last year and copy things that I was happy with or just change things which has made it really really easy so yeah OneNote I um, recommend it for your for your daybook.